previously during the investigation. These puppies are making me go to another town in the boondocks again. I didn't think you'd keep me waiting in the rain for so long. Welcome to Greenvale. I'm the sheriff, George Woodman. Call me George. There's definitely something in this town. Do you feel it, Zach? My coffee warned me about it. All right, here we are again. So what were we doing? Um, da, 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 da. I think we, I think we have to go somewhere. I think we have to go somewhere. I don't, I don't exactly recall, but hey. <sighs> All right, let's see. Limit is from 15 to 17. Oh shit, I still have a lot of time. Well, damn. Oh. What can I do to make that? I hope this works. I really do. And there. Yay! Okay, that does work. I think I'm hungry now, though. I'm gonna have to eat food. Oh, am I hungry? Am I that hungry? Oh, shit, I am. Okay, um. Okay, let's go get some food. And then we'll haul ass, I guess. food. Okay, she's not even here. That's great. I need, I need food. Are you here, crazy woman? I need your food. Oh, is it really raining? God damn it. So all the rain. Can I eat? Can I eat here? Uh, I'm pretty hungry. Um, shit. Yes, I will eat a whole F ton of crackers. Ah, oh boy. $35 for some crackers. Oh, boy. Better be some filling crackers. Alright. Fishing. 
Hmm. If I wasn't in a rush, I'd go fish. Just see what it was. Oh boy, and it's raining, and the car is way over here, of course. Maybe this way? Do you remember, Zach? When that movie ended, the oh, last words the end was from an arcade game. That's right, it was from Missile Command. That stuck in my head for a while. The memories. I feel like I have a lot of movies to catch up on. Let's just hope we can get to the end of this case soon. Then maybe we can catch up on a few. Give some thought about what movie you want to see next, Zach. Go oh, through here. Oh god. Curvy road. Look. Everybody's just Oh, everybody's over here. All just in the rain. Why not? like this since elementary school. I'm not some tree in the wind this time either. And that was a tough role. That was a piece of scenery. Bright red tree. <laughs> Thank you all for coming today. Getting right down to business. Agent Morgan from the Federal Bureau of Investigations wishes to speak with you. Good afternoon. I'm Special Agent Francis York Morgan. Some of you are already aware by now of the tragic murder of Anna Graham. Truly a heinous, terrible crime. I've come to this town to solve the murder of this young, beautiful girl. 
and to bring the one responsible to justice. <laughs> Incidents like these have a tendency to happen again. I asked to have you gathered here so I can share some advice in order to minimize the risk of further fatal incidents. Firstly, please stay away from any dark, dangerous, isolated places. Those of you with children, especially your Anna's age, Please. Secondly, avoid going out when it is raining. Now I have also be especially careful. I would hate to see more victims. Outside when it is raining. Young women should be especially careful. Report anything or anyone suspicious immediately. The murderer will be caught and brought to justice. But you must all remain on guard until we do so. That's all I have to say. Thank you. Oh god, it's this brick. <sighs> oh, yep. Look at this attention whore. When paying for our sins, we must not frown. The loss of Anna was for that debt. That didn't rhyme at all. That's horrible. When purple fog covers our town, we'll all wander in hell, I fret. So says Mr. Stewart. Oh, okay, now it rhymes. How to steal thunder. Well then, Zach, let's ask some questions before all these guys leave. Agent Morgan, here's your chance to get to know some of the townsfolk. Don't let it go to waste. Agent York, your words really made me think about Anna's death again. How could one do such a terrible thing? I'm still in shock. Thomas, I forgot to ask. You don't have a tattoo on your back, do you? A uh, tattoo? Uh, I do, actually. But why? Could you show it to me, please? What? Now? Here? Yes, please. This is vital for our investigation. Okay. If it's gonna help you any. <laughs> He's got a tramp stamp, I know it. <sighs> well, I'm wondering who 
G is now, but aside from that... Did it tell you anything? It told me that you didn't kill Anna. Of course not. What are you saying? You ought to see that tattoo, Zack. A big heart with an arrow through it and love G in the center. I don't know when you got that done. Quite a performance, mysterious and very poetic, but I don't think many of your audience appreciated it. Mr. Francis York Morton, the purple fog appears with rain, soiling and ruining our town. The evil does not drain. Find out why the town is soiled. Remove the source from which it boiled. Then and only then, your case is solved. But for this to happen, to solve the crime, you have to the crime. It is not yet mine. That is, Mr. Stewart's time. Not mine. But if you, Mr. York, find the right title to chat. So says Mr. Stewart. So, Harry, you know something. But there's some reason why you can't tell me yet. Is that what you're trying to say? Cut the poetic rubbish, Harry, and tell us what you know. We can force you to talk, you know. Mr. Francis York Moore. Pay close attention to the signs, the omens, and the premonitions. Small they may be, they still are finds, and helpful to your investigations. So says Mr. Stewart. Thanks for the warning, Harry. But don't worry. Me and Zack, we know what we're doing. So he knows about all the crazy little other world stuff. What is this? Oh. Uh, I don't know whose coffee I just stole, but it's mine now. Agent York, are you finished asking questions yet? When you're done, let me know. We'll all get dinner. Ooh. Ooh. All right. Uh, I guess I'm looking for people that aren't so generic looking. Uh. Uh. No, everyone in here is pretty generic looking. I guess I gotta go out here. Alright. Suspect. So you're the FBI agent, are you? Oh god, it's Bill! <laughs> it's Bill! Slightly manlier, I'm but it's Agent Bill. Francis York Morgan. I'm the general. I fought for my country in the Vietnam War. A real-life war hero. So why are you living here? Soldier, this is my hometown. After a man returns from war, there's no place to go other than his hometown. Your little speech, you mentioned the raincoat killer. Was that a problem? You imbecile. The raincoat killer's no myth, not mere folklore, not a fairy tale. It's based on actual events that happen in this town. It is. I'm interested. Can you tell me more about this? <laughs> you kids today don't even know how to ask for something right. Ooh, I'm in need of a shave. If you want to hear more, you come to my office. I got a little stubble going. He literally exudes raw power, Zack. Despite the credibility issues, we should give him a visit. One thing, though. He calls himself a general, but isn't that a sergeant's uniform? Oh. Agent York, 
You make any progress? Of course, plenty. Now tell me, Usher, when is Anna's funeral? Mm, that's still undecided. Sally isn't really in any condition to do it right now. Her mother? I don't see her here. Anna was her sole reason for living, after her husband was deceased. Well, she's probably huddled up at home. And I should probably take some time to pay her a visit. Well, yes, you should. And I'd appreciate it if you could, too. Um, but don't go too hard on her, okay? Are you getting closer to catching the murderer? Hello again, Fiona. Good to see you here. Well, Dr. Johnson told me to be here. He said it would be important. Well, that was good advice. He may be young, but he seems like a wise man. Oh, and he's a very hard-working person, too. Everyone thinks he's some kind of weirdo, but I don't think so at all. People don't understand why he's in the autopsy room all day, but I do. He's doing research to make the world a better place in the future. You know, he already made a fortune in L.A. with his career. I did not know that. You didn't? Oh, the doctor is a very rich man. He has a really big house over by the lake. Amazing, Zach. He must be loaded. Rich and young. A perfect combination. But you don't get that feeling from him at all, do you? He doesn't show it. That's one of the things I like best about him. Well, I could have been fooled if it weren't for you. Thanks for the valuable information, Fiona. All right, done with that. Oh, hello. I'm FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. Please, call me York. Wesley, owner of the gun store called Panda Bear. People <laughs> around here call me the gunsmith. Panda Bear. That's a badass name. Was there something you want to ask me? How do you make a living running a gun store in a place like this? I'd be worried because there can't be that many customers. Worry gives a small thing a big shadow. I do gunsmith work in my shop, too. If you got the skills, the customers find you. All you need is a network. I hope so. Oh, okay, he'll sell me stuff. Okay, I'll, I'll pick up some ammo, I guess. You've got quite a selection here. No wonder people <laughs> come from all around. What a selection. Day, a customer paid me to go to Seattle for some help. I just got back. I see well, I'll be sure to visit your store sometime. I'd like for you to take a look at my gun. Understood. Ooh. Look forward to it. The shop will be open again tomorrow. It's usually open from 2000 to 0600. See you then. Oh, so it's open late. Okay. Uh, oh, here we go. I'm U.S. Special Agent Francis York Morgan. And you are? Olivia, Nick's wife. Anna worked at your husband's diner, right? What kind of girl was she? Well, she was a very hard worker. A nice girl. Did you ever see her acting strange? Well, not really. But... There was one thing. Well, you see, the diner closes when it rains. Many shops do that around here, as you might have heard. Anyway, Anna always seemed unfocused the day after it rained, and came in late, too. It was almost as if she used up all her energy the day before. Come to think of it, that was really strange. Did that legendary monster really kill her? 
It wasn't a monster. Just a criminal. A criminal I'm going to catch and bring to justice. I'm U.S. Special Agent Francis York Morgan. I presume you are the owner of the diner that Anna worked at? That's right. I'd like to ask you a few questions about Anna Graham. Did you notice anything strange about her prior to the incident? <laughs> Nick, are you hiding something? No, nothing. You sure? I'm sorry, but I don't like repeating myself. Well, he is unsuspicious. All right, who else we got? Oh God, look at that guy. Yes, I'm Lily. I'm FBI Special Agent... Agent York, right? You are good. <laughs> the handsome special agent from the big city. The facial scar trademark. The way you introduce yourself. Everyone's talking about you. Well, I can't say much about the scar. But the way I introduce myself, Zach and I consider it a kind of ritual of sorts. Everyone has their own rituals. It's like always leaving the house left foot first. It's one of those things. You certainly are a funny one. So, have you noticed anything strange or out of place recently? Well, Becky's been taking a couple of days off from work, but aside from that, I heard she was in shock after the murder. But... You think there's something else? Well, I took the boys along to see her today. She's always so kind to them, and they love seeing her too. But she took in the boys and told me to wait outside. Something about a special secret between just the three of them. I just couldn't understand it. Now that's interesting. Thank you, Lily. Perhaps we should give Becky a visit tomorrow, Zach. <laughs> 